VideoGamersOasis.com breaking news. The latest in video game and geek related news. With your reliable news reader, Jeremy. Hello and welcome back. Here's one of the stories we've been working on. On GameSpot.com, we have an interesting article, TV's biggest upcoming shows to watch in 2020 and beyond by Dan Otte. Check the link below to read the original article. And there's a big, beautiful, colorful illustration or photograph of Baby, our beloved Baby Yoda. And the article goes on to read, <clears throat> In many ways, 2019 felt like a transitional period for TV. After much build-up, Disney and Apple launched their own much-hyped streaming platforms at the tail end of the year. And they will be joined in 2020 by a variety of other services, including Warner Media's HBO Max and Peacock from NBC Universal, as well as the recently released Quibi. For the first time in years, Netflix's dominance over the streaming media is in question. But while the future of, of streaming is uncertain for now, it's great news for audiences. In order to gain subscribers in this highly competitive market, all the platforms and networks had lined up a seriously impressive slate of shows in 2020. We were all set to enjoy a mix of returning series. New ad adaptations of much-loved novels and comic books, and some intriguing new titles. But, of course, a lot has changed since the start of the year. The outbreak has caused major disruption across the entire entertainment industry which shows and uh, which with shows and movies getting postponed and delayed on what feels like a daily basis as a result many of the series that were scheduled for the next uh, few months won't appear until late 2020 and shows that were expected to premiere in the fall may not arrive until 2020 21. Nevertheless, there's plenty to look forward to, even if we have to wait a, a while to see it. And there are shows being released over the next few months, including the next Netflix comedy, Space Force, the new DC series, Stargirl, and a variety of titles debuting on the new short-form video platform, Quibi. So here's our guide to the biggest series to watch in 2020 and beyond. So we have some illustrations of some upcoming television shows. What's this one? This looks pretty, uh, this looks like a, a, a date from hell, a blind date from hell. Uh, 50 States of Horror. Quibi. April 13th. 50 States of Horror is a new anthology horror series developed by Quibi, the new streaming service that releases videos and episodes no longer than 10 minutes each. As the title suggests, this show revolves around urban legends from all around, from all over the U.S., and new episodes will be released each day from April 13th. The show is ex ex uh, executively produced by Evil Dead, director and genre veteran Sam Raimi. And the cast includes Taisa Farmiga, the nun, Christina Ricci, oh, I like her, um, Black Snake Moan, Ming Da, pardon me, Ming Na Wen Mulan, and Ron Livingston, Office Space, and Rory Culkin. Signs. Check out the first trailer here. I'll provide some links for the trailer below the video. Next, uh, next uh, show we're gonna look at is Killing Eve season three. BBC America, April twenty-six. BBC America's acclaimed thriller Killing Eve returns to its third season in April. All the main cast members are back, including. Sandra O oh as M M I uh, M15 uh, 
<clears throat> MI, pardon me, MI5 agent Eve Pol Polastri, Jody Comer as obsessed assassin Villanelle. Villan I say that right? And Fiona Shaw as M6, M16 operative Carolyn Martins. The new season will continue the tradition of switching to a new female showrunner with Suzanne Hart Heathcote taking over from season two's. Emerald uh, Fennel and season one's Phoebe Waller Bridge. Unsurprisingly, for a show so packed with twists and mystery, we don't exactly know the dire what direction this, this season will go in, but expect the same hugely entertaining mix of glossy thrills and brutal violence. Next on the roundup, or the list of new TV shows to come, is Stargirl. I actually remember this comic book. I, I had a comic book with uh, a Stargirl uh, story in it, and it was, uh, it was kind of interesting. Not, not really a hardcore story, but it was fun to read. Stargirl, DC Universe, the CW, May 11th. <clears throat> Stargirl is the latest DC show that will be available on both the subscription service DC Universe and the CW, which is home to the likes of Supergirl, The Flash, and Batgirl. It stars Breck Bassinger as Stargirl, a.k.a. Courtney Whitmore a teenager who comes into the possession of the Cosmic Staff, a powerful weapon that can only be handled by members of the Starman legacy of superheroes. The cast also includes Community's Joel McHale as Starman, plus Luke Wilson, Legally Blonde, Neil Jackman, Jackson, not Jill Jackman, Neil Jackson, Sleepy Hollow, and Amy Smart, Felicity. Looks promising. Next on the docket is Space Force, Netflix, May 29th. The Office's Steve Carell and Friends star Lisa Kudrow team up. Um, and Friends star Lisa Kudrow team up for this upcoming Netflix work, uh, workplace comedy that is a bit different from what you expect. Pardon me. Carol plays a four-star general who is put in charge of the newly created Space Force and given the job of getting Americans to the moon again. While Kudrow plays his long-suffering wife, the short trailer released in April didn't reveal any footage, but with two comedy icons in the leads and the supporting cast that includes John Malkovich and Ben Schwartz, Hopes are high that this will be something special. I enjoyed Steve Carell in the office. He was a, he was a kind of like that bumbling uh, Mr. Magoo kind of fool, but I enjoyed him, uh, his performances. So looks promising. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Disney. Disney may not pump out the qu quantity of original content that Netflix does. But it does have the most hype shows and movies, primarily from the worlds of Star Wars and Marvel Cinematic Universe. In 2020, we'll get our very first MCU show in the upcoming year with The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan return to play their respective roles. And they'll be joined by Daniel Abrul, reprising his role as Z of Zemo from Captain America Civil War. That actually looks kind of interesting to watch. Man, I may reactivate my Disney Plus account. On to the next uh, show that's coming up. Doom Patrol Season 2. DC Universe HBO Max. DC Universe's Doom Patrol is the streaming service's best show. It's weird, wild, and completely unpredictable unlike any other superhero show on television. However, it's also on DC Universe, a very niche service that caters to primarily uh, caters to primarily to comic book readers. However, with season 2 on the horizon, it was announced that the show would also be coming 
to the upcoming streaming service, HBO Max. Excuse me. So more people will get to see moments like Brendan Fraser playing a robot or people going into a pocket dimension which is contained within a donkey. Doom Patrol is such a unique TV show and season 2 will be a must watch. While there is no re release date set yet, there is a chance it could meet launch with HBO Max in May. Next on the docket, on the list, pardon me while I sip my coffee here, I haven't had my morning coffee. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why not? FX. Why? The Last Man is one of Vertigo's most beloved comic books. The series followed a man, Yorick, and his monkey, Ampersand, who were the last two males on the planet after disease wiped out everything with a Y chromosome. Getting this comic adaptation has been a bumpy ride, though it was a, um, a TV show, then a movie, then a TV show again once again. Most recently, Eliza Clark, The Killing, has taken over as showrunner, writer and executive producer. Comic creators Brian K. Vaughn and Pia Gura spoke about the show at NYCC 2019, saying this will be the series comic fans deserve. Let's hope FX does this amazing comic justice. That actually looks like an interesting show. Kind of reminds me of uh, there was a Mary Shelley uh, novel, The Last Man on Earth, as well as uh, it, it kind of reminds me of, of, of the Omega Man or I Am Legend without the zombies or the vampires. But it, I, I, have, I may check out the comic book too. The TV show looks pretty interesting as well. The Walking Dead, World Beyond, AMC. These are all young actress, actors and actresses. While The Walking Dead, first spin-off, Fear the Walking Dead, dealt with the start of a zombie apocalypse, this new series is set to focus on younger characters who have grown up during the time of the undead. World Beyond will also run for two seasons, as opposed to the open-ended approach of the, um, of the other two series. So it will be interesting to see if this, ch if this changes the storytelling dynamic. The show was set to premiere this month, but has now been delayed and will arrive later in 2020. Wow, this is what we've been waiting for. The Mandalorian Season 2. I already, I already saw Season 1. I really enjoyed it. Disney Plus. While the, while the Rise of Skywalker might have divided both audience and critics, the Mandalorian seems to have made almost everyone Star Wars fan happy. <coughs> Season 1 of the first ever live action Star Wars TV succeeded in the difficult task of presenting a show with entirely new characters that still captured the spirit of what fans love about the franchise. As well as introducing the world to the to the pop culture phenomena that is Baby Yoda Aww. Season 2 started shooting back in November with Jon Favreau acting as showrunner once more and production has already wrapped. It is unknown whether events of the year will delay its fall arrival on Disney Plus but with any luck We'll still see it this year. American Horror Story Season 10 A AMC and TBD It's almost nine years since the hugely popular anthology show American Horror Story premiered and the series didn't show signs of finishing anytime soon. In January, it was renewed for another three seasons. And season 10 will arrive this year. The only image we've, been, we've seen from the new season so far is this poster, 
which suggests an aquatic horror theme. The cast this time includes Home Alone star Macaulay Culkin, ah! as well as Kathy Bates. Misery, I remember her, and she was an excellent actress in other performances. Um, Billy Lourd, Finn Whitcock, Whitrock, Lily Rabe, Adina Porter, Leslie Grossman, Roseman, and Angelica Ross. And fans will be excited to learn that series favorites Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters are also returning. Nice. Now this is now this looks promising. The Stand. I remember seeing the TV series on YouTube. I also have the novel. The Stand. CBS All Access. This upcoming year will be a much better one for CBS All Access. As this service has a few now original programs to check out, including another adaptation of Stephen King's epic, The Stand, announced back in January. CBS All Access ordered 10 episodes for the miniseries, which revolves around a planet that was destroyed by a plague. And there's a, plan uh, there's a battle between good and evil survivors. Looks like it could be um, a thrilling show. I wonder how much better from the original TV series will it be? We'll have to see. You're entering a dimension, the Twilight Zone. CBS All Access. The first season of Twilight Zone, hosted by Jordan Peele, was easily the best original series from CBS. All Access in 2019. Excuse me. It encapsulated what the original series was all about, while well, adding a modern twist to it. Back in May, a second season of Twilight Zone was announced. There is still very little known about season two like the release date or who is involved on the show, but it is expected to hit the CBS tr uh, streaming service in 2020. Well, if they can come up with some really creative and, and uh, witty, clever episodes with good writing, I may check it out. I love the original uh, Twilight Zone series, and if they can uh, match it with good writing today, really clever stories, and I will watch. We have next on the docket, The Boys Season 2. Uh, I haven't seen this, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. It's pretty, it's almost like uh, Watchmen, Watchmen on steroids. The Boys Season 2. Amazon Prime Video. The first season of this very adult superhero show arrived on Amazon in 2019. And it was a surprise hit. It followed a group of regular people trying to keep corrupt superheroes in their place, based on an over-the-top comic of the same name. Season 2 is expected to arrive sometime in 2020. The first season was relatively short, but it is a must-watch for anyone who has Amazon Prime. Next, we have Lovecraft Country. Could it be actually uh, stories by H.P. Lovecraft? HBO, based on a novel by Matt Ruff. This show follows three people traveling across the country during the Jim Crow era of America. The 1950s, as one of them searches for his missing father, the three come across a few threats, including uh, racist America and monsters from the writing of H.P. Lovecraft. The series stars Michael Kenneth Williams, Montrose Freeman, Courtney B. Vance, and Jonathan Majors. Dun 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 dun. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Netflix. Uh, is this animated? Building on the world created by numerous big-budget summer blockbusters, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous is an animated series that follows a group of teens who head in an, to an adventure camp on Isla Nubar. And guess what? The dinosaurs on the, on the island escape. 
The group has to survive and escape the rampaging diamonds. Wow. There isn't a lot known about the show at this time. Scott Creamer and Lane Luris will serve as showrunners and executive producers for the for the join uh, and <clears throat> and be joined by executive producers Steven Spielberg, Frank Marshall, and Colin Trevorrow. Moving on. The Haunting of Bly Manor. Netflix. 2018's The Haunting of Hill House was a smashing success for Netflix and GameSpot's number one TV show for that year. It was one of the scariest TV shows of the year. So it wasn't any surprise when it was announced in February this year that Season 2 is happening. A specific release date hasn't been revealed yet, but it will be arriving in 2020. The new season is based on the 1898 Henry James novella, The Turn of the Screw. And with showrunner Mike Flanagan will return to direct. Catherine Parker, Tania Miller, Years and Years, Free Reign, Raul Kohli, Zombie, Supergirl, and Amelia Eve, Men Sana, Big Boys Don't Cry, have all been cast. They'll join Victoria Pedretti, Oliver Jackson Cohen, Henry Thomas, and Kate Siegel, who returned to the series in brand new roles. Ooh... This looks, this looks interesting. Juwan, The Grudge, Netflix. While there is a Grudge reboot co uh, movie coming in 2020, there is also a Netflix series arriving next year. Very little is known about the show, but there is an uh, official synopsis of Juwan, J-U-O-N, on its Netflix landing page. The J-horror classic franchise, Ju On was actually based on real life events that occurred over four decades. And the truth that uh, truth is even more terrifying. The overall show story for the Ju On series follows a vengeful curse that be behaves more like a virus, killing its hosts and moving on to infect someone else. Sho Miyaki is set to direct and more than likely Ju On will arrive on Netflix in late 2020. The next show that we're going to look at is I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson, Season 2. Netflix. Tim Robinson's sketch show, I Think You Should Leave, was bizarre. Easily one of the weirdest sketch comedy series in years. Robinson's unique brand of humor is absurdist and pushes the envelope for how far it's willing to go to deliver its comedy. While we don't know a lot about the upcoming season, series co-creator Zach Kenin told Variety that the Lonely Island will be involved. Sip my coffee. The next show we're going to look at is Reno 911. I had a friend who saw the, the movie. He liked it. It's pretty goofy. Ah, Quibi, TBD. Or, or, or well, I think it's Super Troopers. I got mixed up. The much loved mockumentary series Reno 911 is a pastache of law enforcement reality shows that ran for six seasons between 2003 and 2009. A new season is in the works for the short form video platform Quibi and the 10 minute or less running time of its videos should lend itself to shows sketch format. No word on yet when we will see it, but it, must, it will be great to see the old guy, gang back on patrol once more. Disclosure, Viacom CBS is GameSpot's parenting parent company. Well, it's good to know that. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for tuning in to TV's biggest upcoming shows to watch in 2020 and beyond. Uh, article by Dan Otte. 
as well as Matt Elfrey on April 23rd, 2020 at 11.42 a.m. PDT and on GameSpot.com. Make sure to click the link below to read the actual article yourself. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, what do you think? What do you think uh, from the movie selection that we just looked at? Which movie, which TV show will be uh, interest you the most? Uh, this upcoming shows for 2020. Uh, <clears throat> what shows would would you least want to see, or <clears throat> which shows repel you the most? Leave your comments below as well. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends, all on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to Video Gamers Unlimited for the latest updates and click that notification bell and you will be notified of further videos. You can also help the work that I do by downloading the Brave browser, help protect yourself on the internet, protect yourself from spy bots and spyware, and um, keep yourself protected online as well as you can reward yourself with BATs, digital um, um, tokens that uh, can, can be used as online currency on YouTube as well as con convert later on for YouTube for money if you can you know work with the uh, digital currency if you have a digital currency converter but it's really cool uh, the, 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 brow the Brave browser is something you should check out so click the link below to download Brave browser you can also help the work that I do on this YouTube channel as well as my website, videogamersoasis.com. There's a link in that for you, how you can support the work that I do on, the, on my website. If you have any ideas for f future uh, news reports or uh, that are gamer and geek related, please uh, email me on videogamersoasis. Also, I have listed here my snail mail address. So if you have anything you want to me an announce, especially charitable events, uh, there's not much going on with cosplay right now but with the situation that we're in right now. But if you do have any cosplay events or um, Comic-Con events that you want that are charitable, uh, let me know and through my mail, email, or my snail mail, and I can announce them as well. Thanks for watching. Keep healthy, fit, and have fun. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.